Hi all, Mr. Carl on the web here. So you've heard about an Iron Chef, but you're not quite sure how to use this Edu protocol. Or maybe you just have some categorical information that you'd like your students to work through in an efficient way. This one's for you. Let's talk about it. Fundamentally, an Iron Chef Edu protocol is a jigsaw activity that students work on digitally. Most teachers assign them with something like a Google Slide or a Microsoft PowerPoint, but there's other ways you could figure out how to do it too. So, how do you plan for one of these? What kind of information goes into it? Anything you could jigsaw. Here's some examples. Maybe you're a biology teacher working on cell biology. You could have groups work on cellular reproduction, metabolism and energy usage, homeostasis, growth and development, response to stimuli, and cellular organization. Or maybe you're analyzing literature. You could have groups work on the protagonist, the antagonist, plot, conflict, theme, and setting. And let's not forget our littles. Even down to something as simple as a group working on squares, another on circles, and another on triangles. Or maybe your content field has an organization pattern to it like social studies with the grapes method. Geography, resource, achievement, politics, economy, and society. It's already set up for an Iron Chef. So how do we work on this? To put together an Iron Chef activity for your students, you're going to just start with one template slide. There's plenty out there. You can search Twitter for them, or especially go to eduprotocols.com and download a free template. Essentially, it looks like this. Each group is going to get an identical template slide. Maybe you pre-populate it with a topic like cellular biology or geography or circles. Okay? That would go here. Then you can add a place for links to go directly to that resource. Maybe off to the side, you want the students to find three images. Maybe off to this side, you're going to have them do some bullets. And there's always a secret ingredient. So we'll talk about the secret ingredient in just a moment. But imagine this. Let's say that your students were working on geography of Rome. In these boxes, they're going to search the internet. If you're a Google user, use the Explore tab. It's a safe place for them to find images. They're going to find three images that discuss or show the geography of Rome. In the middle, maybe they're going through your textbook. Maybe they're going through a reading selection that you have. They're pulling out important information and then bullet pointing it here. This is a great place for you to link that information if they don't have it, a physical copy of it. But then the secret ingredient. So the secret ingredient is where students really get to flex their own creativity. So what are some possible secret ingredients? The list is almost endless. If you're looking for ideas, I'm going to give you a couple. But go to Twitter, check out hashtag Iron Chef, and you'll see so many possibilities. Check these out. These are the, some of the ones that I use in my own classroom. I'll have them find a meme or a gif, a cartoon, a YouTube tutorial, an artwork, or a quote. So the way that the secret ingredient works is you just decide which one it is. Maybe you're going to do the cartoon for this lesson. So now, every single group has to find a cartoon that discusses or somehow embodies the topic of their slide. It's also a nice way of unifying the slides visually together. So when you put it all together, every group has one slide on one topic and a secret ingredient. The slide deck as a whole might look like a title slide, a slide for directions, and then those template slides, one for each group, one per topic. So what does the workflow look like? After I assign this to my students, they have 10 minutes as a group to build and fill out their own slide, not individually, as a group. After they're done, I give them three minutes as a group to tell us what they saw. I let just project it on the screen, and when their slide comes up, I do not let them read the slide to us. I have them tell us about it. This is one of the beautiful things about a jigsaw like an Iron Chef. The students only built their one individual topic, but they're going to hear about all of them. So why should you try out an Iron Chef? Well, if you're in the United States, the Iron Chef hits almost all of the ELA-based anchor standards. If you're interested in a comparison, check out the new Deploying Edu Protocols book available in a lot of different places. Another reason? It's incredibly efficient. It's student-driven, and frankly, it's fun. If you like what you saw here, engage with it. 
Go ahead and follow. There's more tutorials coming out all the time. Like it. Share it with a teacher who you think could benefit with it. Engage in the comments. Definitely go to eduprotocols.com for free templates and more information. And if you use it, we'd love to see pictures of it. Tag me on most social media platforms at Mr. Carr on the web, hashtag IronChef, hashtag EduProtocols. Hope it helps.